Hi everybody, Jeremy here from Video to Studio, and today I'm gonna show you how to create that infinity duplicated wall in DaVinci Resolve. So let's check it out. All right, so in DaVinci Resolve on the edit page and here I have a video clip of uh, the trailer of one of all pack. And I would like to use that video to create that infinity wall effect that I just show you. It's gonna be very simple and easy. We're gonna do everything from the edit page. So first off, make sure you got the clip that you want to use here in your timeline. Now I'm just gonna bring that clip over to the track number two. Now we're gonna go over to generator. Here I'm gonna bring a solid in my timeline on track one. I'm gonna change the color of that solid to white. Then we're gonna go over to open effects, then search for transform. We're gonna take the transform effect and drag it here on our clip. Now let's select that clip here in our inspector. I'm gonna reduce the size of my clip a little bit to get uh, some white edges all around the video clip. We're gonna go over to effect. I'm gonna scroll down and here we're gonna switch from transparent to wrap around. And now that's when the magic happen. As you can see now, if we go over to zoom and we reduce the zoom, we have automatically duplicated our video clip and this is infinite. So that's as much as we want, as you can see. Right now, we're gonna just bring it back to a reasonable number. So it still look quite good like that. Now I'm gonna make it a bit more interesting by adjusting here the pitch and the yaw to make it look a bit more 3D. So here, I'm gonna play a bit with the pitch, a bit with the yaw like that, and now I'm gonna push back a little bit the zoom so we can actually see and read what is in the video. So now as you can see, if we play it, it looks good. Just we want to make it a bit more interesting by keyframing some elements, the position X, position Y, uh, the zoom, the pitch and the yaw. Play around with those parameters to create your own animation, but here is a quick example of what you can do. I'm gonna go at the beginning of my clip. Here, I'm gonna drop a keyframe on the position Y, a keyframe on the zoom, on the pitch and on the yaw. Then we're gonna go at the end of our clip. And now we're just gonna increase the position Y. We're gonna go down like this. We're gonna zoom a little bit into our composition. Now adjusting the pitch a little bit. You don't want to go too hard with that because as you can see, it increasing the distortion as well. So it's like kind of a perspective. So just be mindful of it. And then the yaw, we're gonna increase it a little bit as well. Now let's play it. As you can see, make a big difference on making the overall thing look a bit more dynamic and I uh, tie the whole thing together. I hope this video was helpful. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Let me know in the comment what kind of video you would like to see next and see you in the next one. Bye. Speed up your workflow and create better videos using the pack available on our website, including titles, transition and templates, but only for DaVinci Resolve. Get started today by downloading our free starter pack containing a compilation of 20 titles created from our library. Link in the description below or at videodigitalstudio.com.